What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video where we're going to be checking out some ammunition. This time Sierra ammunition, 9mm, 115 grain jacket at hollow point. Very good price on PSA. I hear bad things about this ammunition, but we're just going to check it out, see what the numbers are as far as recoil and velocity, and then you guys can make up your mind yourselves about what to do with that information. Hope you guys like this video. We're going to be shooting it out of a 16 inch New Frontier Armory PCC and my P320X5. Let's get on with it. So what's interesting about this ammunition is that it has a head stamp on it called SIG, S-I-G on there. And I did some looking up. This is actually ammunition, I guess, that Sierra had a contract with or business with SIG on. So I guess they helped make the ammunition for it. So anyway, we got five rounds ready for the X5. Let's go ahead and do the PCC first. We'll do velocity checks real quick. So first test so far will be to see how good does that feed into a PCC. Seems to go up in the feed ramp just fine. All right, safety's off. Let's go ahead and give five shots for the velocity test. We'll put all the numbers here in a little bit on the screen and we'll go over it all together, okay? Advertised velocity is not on here, so we don't really have a good reference. Maybe I can find it online and give that to you guys later. But it looks like we were getting a Average of 1,426 feet per second, which is pretty good for a PCC. All right, let's go ahead and check it out out of the X5, see how well it cycles. Seems to go in just fine. Let's go ahead and see what happens on the velocity here. So there we were in the 1100s. Again, we'll show you guys all that information at the end there. Now let's go ahead and do the recoil analysis. Not going to do the recoil analysis on the PCC because it's, I don't think it's going to give you much information. It doesn't recoil much. It's a long gun, so you won't really have any issues there. Let's go ahead and just put the Mantis X10 on the 6RX5 and see what the recoil data is like. All right, we got the recoil meter started and we're going to see what the recoil is like with the CR ammunition. Doesn't feel like it recoils that much out of the next five, five inch barrel. All right, average muzzle rise there, not too bad. Very light, 12.31 degrees. So again, take all the numbers and show you guys there at the end. So let's start with the velocity from the six hour X5 here. So the advertised velocity was not on the box, but I did look it up on Sierra's website and it showed 1,135 feet per second. And on average, what I was getting was 1,179, which is more than the advertised velocity, but probably expected because maybe they tested out of a shorter barrel. This P320X5 in nine millimeter is a five inch barrel. So overall shot really nice, good velocity, I would say, and a good standard deviation of eight. The deviations of the velocities didn't change all that much. So here you guys can just see the data that I got from the X5. Now if we go to the 16 inch pistol caliber carbine from NFA, I got an increase of about 250 feet per second out of a 16 inch barrel and on average 1,426 feet per second, but a higher spread there and a higher deviation. So standard deviation there. So, but for some reason there, the ammunition was varying a little bit more than it was out of the pistol. Not sure why it didn't stay consistent. Not sure if it's because of a different platform I was shooting out of, but you guys can see the numbers here. Now, if we go to the recoil analysis from this Mantis X10, which I really love this Mantis X10, so much stuff you can do with this thing. And I really love using the recoil analysis. And in this case, I was getting about a muzzle rise of 12.31 degrees. And you guys can see the other numbers there, which are pretty relative and respective according to other ammunition that I've shot. Some notes here, it is low recoil, felt really nice when shooting and it had good accuracy. And I also put a chart here or a table of all of the other ammunition that I've tested and compiled together with basically the ammunition I use for competition. All of these were 147 grain ammunition. Okay guys, overall, I'm not, Terror, I'm not dissatisfied with this ammunition. It's all about the performance of a hollow point. And what I noticed is that this ammunition probably is like a prototype V-crown or something. Looks almost like a V-crown. However, there is no hole in the middle of this like a V-crown and I doubt it is skived or anything like that. Just a little bit of scoring on the tip of the copper there. 
But there's a lot of other gel test videos out there for you guys to check out. Doesn't seem to expand that much. It seems like the copper expands pretty good and the lead just flattens. Apparently it penetrates really good. So who knows, maybe you want that penetration in the winter time. You know, bad guy's wearing thick Carhartt, Carhartt and he's a big dude. And so maybe you want that penetration or if you need to shoot through any barriers, which you should be very careful doing that. Uh, if you want to prevent a lot of legal headaches. But anyway, I don't think it's that bad of an ammunition. Check out the numbers. I think for the price that you pay, can't go wrong. Basically I got this for defensive use out of a PCC and you're probably gonna get, who knows? Cause sometimes ammunition really likes certain velocity in order to expand really good. I guess there's a few videos probably out there that did use a PCC, but in any case, I just wanted a lot of very affordable rounds to load up these really large capacity magazines. So I bought a lot of it there for that. So far, I don't think I'm gonna to be too disappointed with it. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. If you don't like the video, go ahead and click that thumbs down button twice. We'll see you guys in the next video. Apocalypse.